back to another Train Sim World 4 video. We're back on another Christmas video, and we are on the Peak Forest. Which doesn't it just look nice in that snow? Look at that. Got the 8F there, sort of hills in the background, that sort of haze, the snow, the trip. It's lovely. Um, but yeah, we're going to be taking this from Rowsley, and we're going up to uh, the Go Hall sidings, which I think are all the way up the top of the route. Uh, yeah, so all the way up past um, Chinley. It said 36 minutes, probably more than that. Uh, but let's set that to forwards. I'm not too sure if that is the right code on the uh, on the headlamps, but I'll do for now. Um, what do we put another one? Do we put another one up there, maybe? Like that. Mm, it's something like that, something along those lines. Um, let's get the thing that you need to do that. That starts doing that. I think in the West Cornwall video I just kept saying that's closed. It was like fully open the whole time, which probably wasn't very healthy for the train. Um what did we? I can't remember now. Let's see how sort of well we start moving on. And on the other one we struggled quite a bit. Very dark, very quick. It literally loaded in, it was all light and now so it's like dark. Dark and dreary. We'll keep the HUD on for this one as I just I don't really know this route very well. And that's a very pretty route, but I don't know it particularly well. I think Bakewell, is it Bakewell's the next stop after Rowsley? It's quite a few like Bakewell's with a few abandoned ones as well. <laughs> No, is it still snowing? Or is it snow? No, it is still snowing, it's just hard to see. That is still snowing. Much nicer gradients on this route though. It's a 1 in 4, 6, so well. I think the only, I think the only sort of proper steep bit is um, that peak forest. Where you've got the quarry, Tunstead quarry. Um, and it's a 1 in 60 or something. It's quite steep. Yeah, we're in the AF for this one. I thought, yeah, as we were in the Jubilee for the uh, West Cornwall run, I thought we'd come into this. Oh, hang on. Yes, we've got the brake, but I think all of these don't have brakes on them. I think the only thing which has brakes is this. I think that's possibly why that's in the middle. This sort of act as the brake, or one of the brakes. Rowsley. Is this Rowsley? There's a, yeah, the other one's Darley Dell. Darley Dell's the next one down. I haven't done this in the snow before this route. No, actually no, I have. I have we have in the 4F doing shunting, but not like a not a line run do that. This route's set in 1963 this one. And it's just a very sort of rural well rural country journey. Yeah, this is um, a very well praised route for scenery. Um, this route, uh, well, is probably one of Dovetail's uh, better looking, if not probably best looking route they've done. Um, yeah, it's, it's a good one, Peak Forest. The only downside is the trains. The, there's no diesels, they're all steam. this route didn't particularly do I suppose as well. So I don't think it did as well. So you've got the period cars and people. There it goes. 
Hopefully the audio is alright. But yeah, this video will be going out at 1pm, so in, in, in the game it probably maybe might be matched in real time. It's quite a long freight train actually. Um, yeah, it was at 13.05 in the game. Anyone had their Christmas lunch yet? Eighteen miles. Yeah, we can go away. It did say thirty-six minutes. Is it? It's, well, not the fastest. I mean, you can see we're thirty-three at the moment. So yeah, it's about half hour. Yeah, but Bait Park's the next station along. And then yeah, there's a couple of abandoned ones as well. And there's like quite a big one as well. Going past it, mate. Pop that down. Pop that audio down a bit. And we're in the dark. In a tunnel. It's one of those curved tunnels. You can't see the light at the end. Until when you're coming out of the tunnel. So ignore the darkness. It will end soon. Once we get out of the tunnel. Should be soonish. Soonish ish. It's the light of the fire as it sort of uh, lights up the uh, the footplate. I think it is, yeah, it's uphill all the way to Peak Forest, but they're not like. I know I said that it's not. I mean, it's, it, there's fairly steep parts on this route, but they're not like. That challenging. Now like you'll get up them relatively easily. Now yeah, we're in the uh, Peak District. That's what I was hence the name Peak Forest. It's very pretty. Just a very sort of typical English countryside route. Yeah, not mountains, or just sort of, well, this sort of rolling hills. You know, the forests over there sort of feel, it's, I don't know, very, uh, very typical names as well. Bakewell, Darleydale. And the gate is still very chinly. Oh, it's just a very typical English route. Another weird thing about this route is that most of this doesn't exist anymore. This bit of line we're on at the moment doesn't exist in real life anymore. It's now a cycleway, walkway, bridleway. Although, um, some of it still does remain. The bits of Buxton still remains. Buxton up through Peak Forest to Chinley. That remains as a freight line. Single track. Uh, Matlock to I think it's Rowsley South is Peak Rail, Heritage Railway. And Matlock to Ambergate is National Rail. So the bit from here up to this sort of triangle junction, I can't remember the name, it doesn't exist anymore. Well, it's not as a railway, sadly. Let's go. This is uh, no. This is bait. This might be Bakewell here. I think this one's there. Yeah, this one's an open station. Here it comes. We actually are wheel slipping, so we got to be careful of that. There it goes. Yeah, I, I reckon that um, box car in the middle is um, is basically acting just as a brake. One in one o two. 
How many? Uh, uh, what are we? Four, wow, okay, 489 tons. So it's really cool. It almost looks like the um, thingies are floating behind us, the wagons. Floating along the way, sort of the snow's kicking up. house in there. Yeah, it goes on for a fair bit though. And yeah, we start, but we'll, go, well, soon enough we'll be going into those hills. There's quite a few tunnels on the route. The cool thing about those tunnels is the fact they're still open today, but as the cycleway walkway, which is quite cool. This, I believe, is one of the abandoned stations. No longer. Well, I mean, none of it's no longer open, but when this is set, it's not open. Does it have a well slipping, but doesn't actually look like we are. You can sort of hear it and feel it when you're well slipping, but it doesn't really feel like it. Let's go in photo mode. Let's get ourselves a shot of the train. Do love a steam. Steam trains and snow just look so good together. When you can see it. A bit of that, bit of that, bit of that. There we go. I'll get another one this side as well. That photo mode is brilliant. That's that's well, that's one of the new TSW4 features. Is is photo mode, and it's good. So we've only travelled three miles. I think it was 18 miles to begin with. Three miles. So from there to there. <laughs> Feels like we travelled much further, but no, only three miles. I'm sort of go up there. About four miles an hour. Although well, that's as the crow flies, so it'll be more than that. We should, yeah, that's if a bird was flying straight across. We go around here, come down here. So it'll be more than that. That's why it comes down so slowly. So actually, we probably have travelled more than four. We probably travelled what six or seven miles, maybe even eight miles. Um, but yeah, that's as the as the crow flies. The steam pressure's too low. I mean, not particularly. I mean, it's I'd say a fairly stable level. We can't really cut off the power because otherwise we're going to slow right down. Because we're still one in a hundred. We are sort of heading towards those hills, though. This looks fantastic in the snow, though. This is just the just the railheads, the sleepers, the ballast. It's all just gone, disappeared. Uh, this is another one of the issue stations. Sadly, no longer there. So we've got quite a long freight train. I mean. Sort of stands as a freight on this This is, yeah, a relatively long one. Oh, there we go, first tunnel this is. The landscape dramatically changes once we get through here. But, you know, this is sort of fairly open field, really wide valley. Uh, once we get through this tunnel, we'll change quite a bit. We'll get the lamp on as well. So get ready for quite a big change. Open valley, rolling hills, open fields. Two about very different. There we go. There you go. First of quite a few tunnels on our journey. I mean, the biggest tunnels are Peak Forest, though, which is a really long tunnel. No, I'm not putting mine to close. What what they can do is be a bit quicker. There's another train. 
That's the other, you get the Jubilee on this trip, the Jubilee of the Mark 1s in a sort of a maroon, well, LMS livery. And there we go, look at this. Now we're in sort of quite a, a deep valley, deep valley, steep valley, a V-shaped valley, almost, almost. Oh, well, we've got inside the train there. Very, yeah, uh, very drastic change. Yeah, sort of a very wide valley to quite a sort of steep-sided valley. Another station there. I think that's one for the walk. Is that one? What's that one called? Montaldale. I don't know if I've stopped there before. Some of the services do. It's still an open station when this route is set. Yeah, I think that one's for walk. Is that one? This area, sort of tourism, walking. It's a fairly uh, big thing. Into the next tunnel. Here we go. It bounces around everywhere as we do so. Another tunnel, yeah, there you go, another one that's just there. Yeah, hopefully, yeah, a little bit of entertainment for your uh, Christmas, if you know, maybe you're waiting for your lunch or you're, I you know, waiting for family, or maybe if you're in the car going somewhere. Um, so, yeah, a little bit of entertainment for you to uh, chill out to or something to watch. Of course, don't be on your games all day, on your videos all day, do sort of chill out and, I don't know, sit with the fam and do whatever. Tell that must flood quite a lot down there, look at that. Get your heavy rain, that'll go right up. Thirty miles an hour. I think that's the uh, next station. Must be coming up then. So look. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I can't remember what this, remember what this one's called, but it's a really cool, very sort of classic vintage station. It's a nice station though. So how many videos have we got after this? Gossip. Seven hundred. East Coast Main Line and Blackpool. I think that's it. I think. Or am I missing something? I'm definitely missing something. No, I think that is it. I don't think there was any other UK releases. I don't think so. Let's have a look. This is Peak Forest. Peak Forest. Yes, yeah, so we got yeah, Glossit one, two, seven hundred. East Coast three. Oh yeah. Let gravity do our job there. There's another Jubilee. Some uh, Mark Twos. Some sort of runaway line. That one. Look at that. Train sort of runs down the hill. Send it into there and well, <laughs> off there. Yeah, it's a really nice station at this one. Oh, is it St. Mills? Mills something? Probably not. Mills something? Oh, Millersdale, there you go, Millersdale, that's the one. So it's a very sort of vintage, classic sort of station. We do need to slow down, oh, no, we're fine. One of those stations where you sort of just want to work at it. Here we 
guy. Oh, freight train. That's a really nice route in the snow, though. So, yeah, don't think I've ever done this route in the snow as well. It came out in May, so we were just doing it in sort of, well, May. In the May weather. So there wasn't actually a UK release for quite some time after this, because this came out, yeah, I think early May, and then Glossop was sort of end of June. As I remember going on holiday, so that's why I sort of put it up in there. We had a Glossop stream for a little bit. I thought when it first came out we'd do a Glossop stream, so I wasn't here. <laughs> This is the junction which can take you down to Buxton Midland and also where the line well still exists. See it pushes fine. I mean it would be nice to be a little bit higher but it's not like low low. They just keep it as it is at the moment, because if we go any more we start wheel slipping. We tend to start wheel slipping. It did say 36 minutes and it's been 22 minutes so time wise we are still sort of correct. There you go. Yeah, this is now single track in real life. Well this this bit still doesn't exist. It's from when that next bit joins up. That still exists. Got a 1 in 90 up here. Steam pressure is too slow. Set regulator to closed. Well then we're going to come to a stop. So we can't do that. What the farmer needs to do is get more coal in there. exists but it's single track now so there's just no need for double tracks I suppose you probably really don't get many freight trains so it's a bit like the Ken Creek branch on uh, sort of a US equivalent or that that got built like in the 80s it's got built no, maybe not. Let's try and get a bit of power on us. We're fully open now on the regulator. We're not wheel slipping, which is good. The snow is still coming down, but not as much as I think it was. Oh, no, we are wheel slipping now. Oh, actually, no, we're not. We're fine. This is one of the steepest parts of the route. And then once we get to the top, it's Peak Forest Station, and then we just drop, and it's all the way downhill. Pressures were a bit low, that was still uh, still like that. You got the sunroof there, roof then, sun, sunroof. We might see the 4F round here. The 4F prowls round uh, round here. That does shunting runs in the in the quarry. Yeah, it 
Tunstead Quarry, I think this one is. Let's make our way up. Cool. Where are you for it? Let's just bank something up the hill, which might have. You should see one round here. It's weird. It would be weird not to see one, as I think one is a resident of, of this area, so we should see it somewhere around here. Here yeah, you get the 4F, the 8F, and the Jubilee on this route. The 4F you just don't see much, so it's literally just shunt in and that's it. So the majority of services are Jubilee and 8F. Clear that now. Nice and sunny. Well, you don't really want Christmas Day to be sunny, do you? Christmas Day, either weather would be this, but still snowing. Or just this, but with the snow. What you want on Christmas, though, is like, yeah, foggy, really cold, cloudy, quite dismal. Because that's Christmas, sort of staying in, being cosy going out and sort of being inside. But does anyone have any traditions where you go outside at Christmas on a walk or something? Oh, what's this coming down now? Mm, that's probably a... No, hang on. What is that? That is a 4F. There we go. Had a bit of shunting. That looks fantastic up here, though. Oh, yeah, we're coming up to Peak Forest now. The station. And the gradient should then start to come off, and then it's all the way downhill. The last sort of six and a half, well, probably even more, nine miles. As that is, as the bird flies or as the crow flies. I mean, someone. Yeah, I remember when Peak Forest first came out. Someone said their uh, granddad or something works at Peak Forest Station, which I thought was quite cool. Considering well, it no longer remains in as a public station. That would be quite cool to do, though. So when one of, when were the rail, when were, when one of the railway stations shut down to sort of own it and live in it. station as your house. Right now we start going downhill so we do not need to be accelerated. We got 50 anyway coming up so safety valves will be going to start going off soon and screaming at us. And this is a massive tunnel this bump coming in too. We're going to be in here for a while. A little bit of brake pressure. I don't think I've got that the wrong way around. Are you supposed to be like that? No, you're not supposed to be like that. Seems supposed to be releasing. Oh no, that's why. I've just answered my own question. It's because we don't really actually have like no brakes. On this train, the only thing that breaks is this. I think the box van um, in the middle and the brake van. That's it. That's all what has brakes. Everything else is sort of un. It doesn't doesn't have brakes. Well, that's what we actually are coming down quite nicely, considering our brakes aren't particularly great. She slowed down a bit too much. Okay, we don't need that. We don't want that. A bit quicker. Is that snow in the tunnel there? What's that? Some sort of white sludge in the tunnel. Just 
something. Maybe it's snow, maybe the snow's come off the train or something. In the tunnel. Or maybe it was ice. And that 80 is yeah, near enough where the end of the tunnel is. And then you've got Chapel and the Frith Central. Chinley, and then there yeah, to our signings, which we're going to be going into. down one in nine two which is quite nice sort of going down what we went up radiant wise Bouncing around, like, look at this. Really bouncing. As you pick up speed, set the reversal towards the centre mid gear positions. As oh yeah, hang on, why are we in? Oh yeah, and we don't want to pee in that. Uh, that would be 35 again. Let's just slow it right down, don't we? Put it back up. Here we go. That's sort of a dark smoke there, so we're in the tunnel. So coming up to Chapel and Le Frith. We're going to be flying right the way through. See, the pressure's like you literally had all that time in the tunnel to build it up. Well, I suppose we did have to end up accelerating a little bit on, in, in the tunnel. Absolutely flying now. That's a nice change. As long as this next signal's not red. Which is all good, there's no warning either. So we are fine. Have a sort of nice station. There it goes. That 20 for going into the loop platform as well. I just want to make that clear now, if you can just about see that. F hang on, 15 miles an hour. Really? We've got to slow right down now. Oh, well, it was good work that last did. No, not steam brake. Combo brake. Oh, but that's nasty as well. That's a warning. Oh no, no, it's not. No, no it's, I always see. The, I always see the first bit first. I'm like, oh, well, I'm like, oh, yeah, it's fine. This means we're going to be going over to the right, and we're going a bit quick at the moment. Uh, we're, not, we're probably not going to be going 15 over the point. Actually, we've still got about. Well, we haven't got enough time, really. Yeah, we're not we're not going 15 over those points. Don't derail. Don't derail. We're just going a little bit quick, all right. I blame the snow. So it's, uh, it's not that bad anyway. I mean, yeah, it's not at the intended speed limit, but I didn't feel awfully bad going a bit fast across there. That's one thing you need to look out for on this route. Is uh, yeah. Brakes on fab. Especially yeah, in a freight train where I don't think that most of these wagons are fitted with brakes. Well, I don't know why we did come over though, because we could have just sat on that line. That would have taken us where we needed to be. Oh well. Chinley, which is the end of the passenger services, but we get to continue a little bit further. Was it Gow's? Gow hole, Gow, yeah, Gow hole sidings. Probably not Go hole, is it? Gow hole, it's 
sounds probably more what it is. Are those wheels on the tender even turning? <laughs> I'm pretty certain the wheels on the tender are not. Oh, they aren't. Hang on. It's like they're. I don't know. I'm not completely certain that they are actually turning, or at least turning how they should be. A bit worrying. But I didn't. I wasn't looking at the signals then, so hopefully we don't have a red coming up. That would be this green. Good to see. There's Chinley, and well, goodbye Chinley. And there's another little abandoned station pass here as well. over one mile now to uh, Gow Hole. And then that's it, that's Peak Forest done and then we're on to uh, the Glossop line. So from 60s to well, modern day. I think this train would then get shunted about by uh, four refs, so I don't think we actually come into any of like a proper side in. Yeah, we uncouple and the four ref comes behind. Sort of uh, once we uncouple it and the service ends then instructs the four ref to go and do its job. Here's the other little abandoned station, don't know the name of this one. Very easy to speed on this route. This one you can downhill. Now we've got a warning on that signal to be prepared to stop for the next signal. Uh, which I'd imagine we can be maybe a contact signaler job. Well, not really contact signaler because I mean you can't really contact the signaler. It's 1960s. Uh, no phone in the footplate, I suppose you'd have to jump down and... Well, I, I don't know, actually. I suppose you might have had some line-side phones. Just have to wait and see. To be our way around. Signals, there they are. Uh, we've actually got clear on our one, so I don't know why we had a warning, unless maybe there was something there before, but yeah, we can go through on ours. Although we've got a warning on. Actually, no, it wouldn't be this one, it would be. It would be the next one after this, which would be. At Danger. This is sort of the. Yeah, I think it'll be the next one. So yeah, that was. Um, that's allowing us through there. Or maybe not. Uh, maybe we are fine. No, there must be a warning for the the next one, uh, which will be the but the, the final one. No, cause that was that one was cool. We are stopping around the corner. Around the corner. Lovely, pleasant afternoon run, though. And not long until we have to stop, so let's get those brakes on. Yeah, we can't really be going past this because otherwise we're going to go through a red light. That wouldn't be a great way to end it. 
There's another four F in there. A bit of shunting. Shunting shenanigans. A little bit further, we get that up. Oh, we can go a bit further. Actually, we'll just let it coast. There's a 4F. A little diddy locomotive. 4, 4, 5, 5, 6. And we're 4, 8, 3, 0, 3. And there's the red light as well. So we've got to go quite close to it, actually. Quite, sort of, yeah. Uncomfortably close to it. Yeah, that is... You've got to get really close to this. Right, I'm happy with that. Ah, oh, the game is not happy with that though. Really? It's, it's one of those stupid objectives. Where it's like, that should be fine. Why do you have to move up to exactly where it wants you to go? I mean, realistically, you'd probably be stopped here. No, you've got to move, like, here. That will do. There we go. And then uncouple that, and then the 4F will uh, shunt us about. That, that will then be activated and start moving. That wasn't too bad. Uh, yeah, that is it for uh, for this video. Hopefully everyone has enjoyed it. Links can be found in the usual places. Discord, PayPal, merch store. Apart from that, thanks all for coming in. I'll see you all next time. See you all. Take care. Bye, guys.